Hey students, this is Mr. Boyd. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to solve equations with variables on both sides. So to begin with, we want to review how do we solve an equation. And we solve an equation by isolating the variable using inverse operations. Next, we want to review what a solution is. A solution is the number or numbers that make an equation true. In this lesson, we're going to use four steps. First, we're going to distribute if necessary. Then we'll combine like terms. Okay, different from the last lesson, on this one we've got variables on both sides. So we're going to move those variables all to one side. And then we're going to isolate the variable using inverse operations. And the way we move variables from one side of the equation to the other is we use either addition, if it's a subtraction, if it's a negative uh, variable, or we use subtraction if it's a positive variable. So let's take a look at some examples down here. All right, so this first example, we see that we have 8x on the left side and 2x minus 48 on the right side of the equal sign. Okay, so I need to get my variables on one side. I don't have any distributive property. I don't have any like terms to combine. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. And the way I decide which variable I'm going to subtract is I usually always pick the smaller variable. Since 2 is smaller than 8, I'll subtract 2x from both sides. So then that's going to give me 8x minus 2x equals 2x minus 2x minus 48. Well, 8x minus 2x is going to give me 6x. 2x minus 2x is 0, which leaves me with negative 48 on the right-hand side. And then to finish isolating the variable, I would divide by 6 on both sides. This gives me x on the left-hand side and negative 8 on the right-hand side. Hey guys, why don't you pause the video and try the next one. And I'll be back to check it with you. Okay guys, so for this one I'm going to just walk through it real quick. I'm going to subtract 3x. It's going to give me 7x equals 56. I'm going to divide by 7. x equals h. Okay. Alright, on the next one, Again, I don't have distributive property. I can't combine the like terms because they're on opposite sides of the equal sign. So I need to move the variables to one side. Since 5x is the smaller of the two variables, and it's positive, I'm going to subtract 5x from both sides of the equal equation. Now notice each time I do this, I write my like terms under each other. So 5x minus 5x is 0, and 0 plus 30 is just going to leave us with 30 on the right-hand side. On the left-hand side, I'm going to have 8x minus 5x, which is going to leave me with 3x. And I'm going to go ahead and bring that plus 3 down. Okay, now I've got a two-step equation to solve. I want to start by undoing the addition. So I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides. That's going to leave me with a result of 3x equals 27. So then I'll divide by 3. And that's going to leave me with x equals 9. Hey guys, if you'll pause the video and try this next one, I will be back to show you when you're done. Okay guys, on this one, I'm going to start off by subtracting the x from both sides. Now it's really helpful to remember that when there's an x by itself, that's actually a 1x. So I'm really subtracting 1x from both sides of the equal sign. Okay, so 1x minus 1x, that's 0. 0 plus 55 is going to leave me with 55 on the right-hand side of the equal sign. 5x minus 1x is going to give me a 4x. And of course I'm going to bring that plus 7 down. 
Now I'm going to isolate the variable by using inverse operation. And I'm going to work backwards through the order of operation. So I'm going to, I'm going to undo the plus 7 first by subtracting 7. That's going to give me 4x equals 48. Next, I'll divide by 4 to undo the multiplication. And the x equals 12. All right, let's move on to this next example. Here we see we have 8 times y minus 7 equals 2y plus 23. So this one is an example of the distributive property. So we're going to start with the distribute part of it. So we will distribute 8 times y and 8 times 7. That's going to give us 8y minus 56 equals 2y plus 23. Okay, next I see that my smaller variable is the 2y, so I will go ahead and subtract the 2y from both sides. So 2y minus 2y is going to give me a 0, and 0 plus 23 is going to give me 23 on the right-hand side of the equal sign. 8y minus 2y leaves me with a 6y minus 56. So then the next step would be to isolate the variable. We're going to do the subtraction first. So we're going to add 56 to both sides. That's going to leave me with a 0 here and a 6y on the left side. 23 plus 56 is 79. Next, we'll divide by 6. y equals 79 over 6, or 13 and 1, 6. Okay? All right, guys, go ahead and pause the video and try the next one on your own. Okay, guys, I'm back with you now. Let's go ahead and take a look at this problem. So I would distribute first. That's going to give me 4c minus 8. 2c plus 14. Next, I would uh, subtract 2c from both sides because that's the smaller of the two variables. That's going to give me 2c here. Minus 8 equals 14. Next, I would add 8 because I want to do the inverse of subtraction first. Next, we can divide by 2 to finish this up. And C equals 11. How'd you do? Okay, let's look at the next one. So for the next one, we would multiply 5 times x and 5 times 7. But we also have distributive property on the right side. So we'll do both of those. That's going to give me 5x plus 35 equals 3x minus 9. Okay, I notice I've got a positive 3x and a positive 5x, so I'm going to subtract the smaller of the two variables from both sides. Now, if these variables were on the same side of the equal side, I would combine like terms, but they're not, so I'm going to need to subtract them from both sides. So 5x minus 3x is 2x. I'll bring down my 35. Let's see, 3x minus 3x is 0, and 0 minus 9 is going to leave me with negative so next we'll subtract 35 from both sides. That's going to leave me with 2x equals negative 44. To finish this one up, I would divide by 2. And x equals negative 22. Okay. All right, guys, for this next one, I'd like for you to pause the video and try it. And then... Play the video to see how you do. Okay, guys, I'm back with you. So we're going to distribute the 9 first. Don't forget to distribute to both x and 3. That's going to give me a 9x 
plus 27. We'll distribute the 6 to the x and 6 to the 5. That's going to give me 6x minus 30. Again, I notice that the smaller of the two variables is my 6x, so I'm going to subtract that from both sides. Okay, so 9x minus 6x is going to leave me with a 3x plus 27 on the left hand side. 6x minus 6x is 0. Minus 30 is going to be a negative 30. Alright, so then to isolate the variable I would subtract 27 first. That's going to leave me with 3x on the left. And a negative 57 on the right. I'm going to divide that by 3. That's going to leave me with x equals negative 19. Okay. We've got these kind of special cases down here we need to look at next. But what happens when I multiply these two right here? Okay, 3 times 4 is going to give me a 12y plus 3 equals 12y plus 3. Okay, so if I subtract 12y from both sides, that's going to give me with 0 plus 3 equals 0 plus 3. Let's write that down. 0 plus 3 equals 0 plus 3. It's kind of odd. I have the same exact thing on both sides of the equal sign. So if I drop those zeros, that would leave me with 3 equals 3. Okay, when we end up with a number equaling itself, we call this a identity. The solution set is any number. So any number will make this true. Okay? Alright guys, if you'll pause the video and try the next one. Okay guys, I'm back with you. So when I distribute, I have 14y plus 35 equals 14y plus 35. I notice these are identical on both sides of the equal sign. Therefore, this is an identity. And the solution set is any number or all real numbers. Okay, and the symbol for all real numbers is this funny looking R with two up, upward lines. Kind of like the parallel button that you see, or, or letter that you see in language arts, except we use an R. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. So if I use the distributive property here, I would have 15x plus 15 equals 15x minus 15. Now, these are not identical. These are a little bit different. In other words, I notice that on the left side, I have plus 15. On the right-hand side, I have minus 15. So let's see what happens with this one. If we subtract 15x from both sides, notice we no longer have a variable anymore. And I've got 15 equals negative 15. That's never going to be true. 15 will never equal negative 15. So what this really tells us, if these two, if we lose our variable, and these two are not identical on both sides of the equal sign, then this is called a no solution. There is no number that will make this equation true. Okay, go ahead and pause the video and try the next one, guys, and uh, let's see how you do. Okay, guys, I'm back with you on this very last one. When we multiply, we would end up with 10x plus 14 equals 10x plus 35. And so again, we can see these.